Hi loves, welcome to Rogos High. This message is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node placements. We're going to see what the person on your mind would like to say to you at this time or your person, whoever they are. We're going to see what they would like to say to you at this time with the index cards. Listen, I will not be providing clarity for these cards because you know who you're dealing with. I don't know their ass and I'm not trying to go through no puzzle pieces trying to figure out who they are. You know them. Okay, so <laughs> take what resonates and leave the rest. I'll close it off with messages from spirit um, and then we'll just go from there. All right. So let's jump into it for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What does the person on your mind want to say to you right now? Again, you would know them before I would. <laughs> Alrighty. Messages for the person on Virgo's mind. Messages of love and light for the person on Virgo's mind. What would they like to say to Virgo at this time? Sun, Rising, Venus, North, and Mercury signs. One more shuffle, y'all. All right. That Pisces involved at the very bottom there, okay? All right, so let's see what we got. Grab the sheets. Gemini. Libra involved. Where I'm fucking you at? <laughs> Begging for more. Fake friends. I'd rather be with you. Stress, worry, X. I got plans to move your fine ass in my living room. <laughs> no strings. Cancer involved. I'm on wind mode. No stopping me. Secret admirer. I could be with you all night. Super wet. Forgive, forget. All right, in the bottom two. We said Pisces involved and Cancer involved. All right. Alrighty. So overall, Virgo, looks like you guys are uh, the Cancer, the Pisces, the Libra, and the Gemini. Got something to say, but it looked like their ass is fake and messy. <laughs> no, probably not all of them, but uh, is somebody messy around you, fake ass friends around you. Mm. It could be uh, it's coming from this stream here, so I'm seeing a Gemini possibly or Pisces, someone that you disconnected from or need to disconnect from. 
could have been someone that you lived with because uh, they got plans to move you and your move your fine ass in their living room. So maybe you did that already. Alrighty, they was begging you to come live with them, and now you, you know, got the ass. Um, are you disconnected from them? If something went on here where uh, someone got in their feelings because you disconnected from them. All right, so. This is a, it has a lot to do with your living arrangement, where I'm fucking you at. Somebody could have been feeling like they didn't have the uh, space or opportunity to get down with you like they wanted to. All right, like maybe they weren't patient with you. It seemed like there's somebody want a lot of fucking. <laughs> somebody got plans to just be fucking. All right, super wet here. It's like where I'm fucking you at. You know, ain't no stopping me and shit. Like, it just seems like someone is just focused on fucking. All this water energy, the Pisces and the Cancer energy is just wet and super wet. You know what I mean? You could have some type of secret admirer that you've been spending. Well, no, no, because I'm getting like you've been spending time with somebody on the low. Probably fucking with somebody on the low. And you've got all these people. Um, I'm here and picking up the scent. <laughs> They're catching on to this shit. You got your ex worried. <laughs> oh, wow. Maybe you live with somebody. But there's no strings attached. Like, well, obviously there's strings. If y'all have living together, that's the big ass string right there. <laughs> big strong string. <laughs> but it looks like somebody is um they want more. They don't give a fuck about your man or your lady. That's what I'm seeing. They don't care and they got your ex worried. What's going on here? Maybe you have an ex with the uh, death and rebirth reverse. You guys could have been dealing with a Taurus or a Scorpio. But maybe you got an ex that is uh, missing you. They're stressed and they're worried now because they uh, realize they have fake ass friends that push them away from you. All right. So maybe they let them fake ass friends convince them to leave you alone. And now, you know, they want you back. And now they're like, um, they know that you have a secret admirer. They know that you're about to, you know, possibly link up with the, with someone else. Maybe a Pisces or a Cancer. Yep. Guys could have been strong. We dealing with the Scorpio. Okay. But somebody is missing you now. And missing you now. Ace of Swords reverse, the Magician reverse. They could be trying to contact you, reach out to you, even manifest you, but it's not working. <laughs> could be this Libra here, and they're stressed out because they can't manifest you. They can't get you back the way that you you know used to be. They're begging for more. They want how you used to be, so they don't like this transformation you've gone through. They want you to be how you used to be so because they feel they had a chance with you then. Now you have disconnected from this person or these people. You got the King of Cups coming out here. All right. And so I feel that with this begging for more, you could be trying to get more from this water sign. Somebody is giving you something playing with that cup. They playing in them, in them juices is what I'm getting. Oh my, someone be playing in that, in that kitty cat. What's up with these fake friends? Mm, it's a knight of wands around you. All right, with the fake friends energy, it could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. All righty, but this person, they probably don't want to see you happy. They don't want to see you Maybe they benefit in some way from you being single, Virgo, but they don't want to see you tied up and excited with this new little, this fling, <laughs> getting the fling energy. 
I just heard co-worker and time clock. This could be somebody that you work with. All right, you got the six of cups here. Could have been somebody that you grew up with. I'd rather be with you. Yeah, somebody is thinking about the life and the path that they chose. And they're, they're regretting it now. They want to be with you. They're wishing that they would have kept you. Like you were very loyal to them. I'm hearing you're very loyal. Could have been a Leo you were dealing with. But now they're just out of their character. They're not the same. They're not the same. Maybe you were wanting a Leo to be a way they used to be, but they, they're not going back to that. They've changed. I'm hearing like someone's grown up here. They're not who they used to be. They're not a kid anymore. They're not a child anymore. Yeah, like rapid, rapid change has happened now. But the Knight of Pentacles reverse, I feel that it could have been a very long time that this person was um, living with you. I got plans to move your finance in my living room. Or they have been planning to move you in with them. But now with the pinnacle, Knight of Pentacles reverse, they could be taking action um, towards you. It's like they, they, they're either procrastinating and jumping out of that procrastination. Or this person have decided to walk away altogether from this connection from you. The Queen of Cups. All right, so I feel like they kind of threw the towel in. All right, they're trying to stay balanced here, but it's almost as like they can't help it. This is divine counterpart energy. You guys are, <laughs> the water is strong. The water is strong. You guys are likely going to be dealing with the water sign and it's going to piss a fire sign off. Aries Leo Sagittarius is not going to like you connecting with this um, Scorpio Cancer Pisces. But it looks like they're your, your actual counterpart, your actual match with who you are now. Maybe who you used to be with the death and rebirth reverse. Maybe who you used to be was um, someone that this person, this fire sign could manipulate. Now they can't. They don't have that control over you anymore. They don't have that power over you anymore. Uh-huh, look, you're disconnected from them. Mm-hmm, like, give me my love back. I want my damn necklace back. <laughs> yeah, you took your love back from someone because they didn't know what the fuck to do with it. And now this person is having some regrets. Star reverse, the eight of swords reverse. They didn't see your worth in the past. They didn't see how much you contributed to them, how much you kept them afloat. I feel like you kind of lived in their shadow with the Eight of Swords reverse or the Star reverse. This person, they never saw like your value, your worth up until you walked away from their ass. Now, all of a sudden, they get the Eight of Swords reverse. Now, all of a sudden, they, they starting to see things clearly now. It's no sunshine when you gone, Virgo. So, you got always wait till it's too late and this could also be the type of person like that doesn't like to be with people that they don't see as a challenge you know what i'm saying some people don't like you until you got a man until you got a woman until other people are interested in you that's the type of shit i'm getting here this person didn't give a fuck to be in a relationship with you because they felt like nobody else gave a fuck now all of a sudden the world looking at you virgo and now they looking at you again like bitch go back to sleep <laughs> Let's see. Mm hmm See it? Very competitive now. Very competitive, strategic. Um, trying to find a way to outsmart you, to get through to you, possibly even hurt you. With the five of wands, it's about competition. So this person, they could be like, you know, trying to one up is what I'm getting. The, the one up would be the six of wands, the success, the victory, public recognition, right? So they could be trying to hurt you or like, like, put themselves out there uh, with someone else to get a reaction out of you to see if you still care, Virgo. You either moved on from this person. You don't give a fuck what they're doing. You probably don't even have them on social media, none of that. But they want you to see them living life because they're really sad and they miss you, but they're trying to get a read on you. Like, does Virgo still care about me? Is this going to hurt, Virgo? Uh, probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Because you're too busy getting that kitty played with or getting that thing rubbed on by somebody. Or you about to be. You about to be. And it's looking like it's a water sign. What else? Let's see. What make it say? 
Picture me all in your neck, moving on your dick. <laughs> Somebody gonna be rubbing on that thing. Mm -hmm. You got this temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy, extreme, compulsive. You know what I'm saying? Impulsive, sorry. <laughs> but I feel like this person, they're very um temperamental. The temperamental. You got the Queen of Pentacles reverse. All right. So they could be trying to force out, keep out some type of love for you. I feel that regardless of what they're trying to do, this younger water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, they're coming in. They they already didn't found you. They see you. They <laughs> they didn't got a, a glimpse of that ass, and they coming. They coming. They don't give a fuck. This is clarifying. Forgive and forget. So they know you done been through some shit, and they know that you got a past, and they see the competition as well. They don't give a fuck. They don't care. They don't care. It could be because they're young, or it could simply just be that they're um, vulnerable. Like they like to give of themselves. They could be a little. I'm hearing a little trauma bonding. So make sure. That you are not um, bonding with this person on shit, the hurt and the pain that y'all been through. Try to focus on positive things, good memories. Create something fresh with them. Switch the shit up, okay? You've outgrown that shit, the shit that you done been through. All right, Virgo? Please don't hold on to no sad ass, wild, wild, wubsy story. Stepping into this fresh union, this person, they don't want to fucking hear it. All right? They may tell you that they do, but they don't. They're very balanced and they're at peace. They want more of that. Okay. <clears throat> there you go. You guys want to be linking up with a Scorpio, Taurus, a Leo, or Aquarius. And this person is possibly, um, you know, they're they're very mature is what I'm getting. They know how to end things well, so they don't hold they don't have like bad karma and shit. You know what I'm saying? They're real cool. Like people respect them, admire them, tend to look to them. And that's what you're going to like about them as well. So I feel like this person that is trying to block this out, this page of wands reverse, it could be a younger fire sign. Someone's younger than you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and they're a bit immature. They have no problem showing it either. So again, just be mindful of the temperament. Uh, don't spend too much energy worrying about it. I wouldn't be worried about it at all because we know they're only in this energy because of this. They're upset to see you moving forward with yourself, with your life. Um, you know, finding new love, finding someone that actually reciprocates the love that you give, the energy that you give. Your divine counterpart is here. All right. So it's looking like the night they, they don't got shit on this queen. All right. This queen or this king here. They wish they did, but they don't. All right. So they're going to be throwing all they want. Well, then fuck you, Virgo. You know, it's like, oh, fuck you too, bitch. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so now always keep it peaceful and go high. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.